hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while since I've made any kind of video, but I got something new in store for you guys, and I'm gonna do um I'm going to do a pistol safe review. It's a biometric one, and you can pick it up at Bass Pro Shop, is one of the places you can get it from. Uh reasonably priced, and I will uh, get into the review right now with it. Alright, so let's open this. Okay, so opens like so. Bulldog vaults. That's who makes it. I'm gonna have to read these instructions. Get this thing set up. Get this over here for now. Backup keys. So if it's a biometric safe uh, or any kind of electric or battery operated safe, it's good to have backup keys so that if it does batteries do die you can still get in the thing um, sometimes uh, you can just put your batteries in in the safety or the uh, memory of the system mm, that didn't work memory of the system will re retain your code or your or your fingerprint so okay so real quick it looks like it, uh, yeah, backup keys, LED lighting, so you can see it. Well, at least we'll go into it. But uh, there's a lot of features. It'll do 100 fingerprints. I don't know why you'd want 100, unless you want everyone in the village to uh, have access to your firearm. All right, sorry about that. I had to add light. Started looking at the camera and going, oh, it is not bright enough in here. So. All right, so yeah, we guessed correctly that this little cover, it's magnetic, so that's kind of cool. Slides off pretty easy. Pops open, very nice. All right, so pretty perfect for a firearm. Um, you could possibly fit two in there if you wanted to and some other stuff so um, like I said it's very similar to mounting bolts so that they can't pick it up and steal the, the whole safe although crowbar anybody who really wanted it they just take it and then have their time opening this thing but that's not the point They're really it's about having it safe in your home so that people who aren't supposed to access it don't access it all right, so instructions, how to program this thing, where the batteries go. So the pictures, you can see that. So they point out that the battery compartment is right here. Right there. That's a bottom cutout view of inside the safe. So to actually change the batteries or put batteries in it, battery compartments all the way in here. I don't even know if you can see that. There, right there, that little black raised spot inside there. So that's gonna be a little son of a bitch to change. Okay, so. This is how it works. Once you have it programmed, oh, didn't work. There we go. So basically you touch it, it you saw how it flashed red twice, which means nope, not, not a good print or not, not programmed in. I use my index finger and then it flashed green and then opened the door. It also has a, a light, a night light so that you can see it in the dark if you're opening to grab your pistol or whatever you're keeping in here. Um, so programming basically there's a button inside the box you have to have already either the key or have the door open hit the program button it blinks then you put your finger down and uh, you can program all your fingers if you want uh, it's probably a good idea to program at least uh, your index fingers both and both your thumbs um, Sometimes, uh, which, which I've found out, like when I'm working on stuff and my hands get uh, tore up, um, even on my iPhone, it won't recognize my thumb print because it's so uh, 
uh, mangled or the skin's peeling or whatever and, and then it turns into a kind of a frustrating thing so um, keep that in mind something to uh, to think about especially if uh, that way you have more options with your fingers in both either hand whatever hand you can to get to the the box depending on how you mount it that kind of thing so um, but so let's look inside it's like again let's see if you can see this better all right all right so yeah that's the inside there's a little desiccant pouch don't need to keep that in there you could if you want to but um, so the battery compartment is actually in here, up here on the top. It's kind of hard. It's not that bad, but it's not convenient. So, uh, but it takes four double A's. Um, and then the programming button is somewhere in here. But, uh, once you hit that, then it opens it up so that you can program it. So pretty much this thing is like almost identical to, uh, a lot of the gun vaults or pistol safes out there, except this is biometric. So, um, overall construction is pretty stout. This thing is not light. It's heavy. This is a thicker wall steel. Um, don't know what gauge. It's probably, hmm, it's like 20 gauge, maybe slightly thicker. Um, but it also has another layer underneath it. It's double layer something. So, um, the main... Yeah, the main stuff is almost an eighth, not an eighth, yeah, a sixteenth of an inch, maybe a little thicker than a sixteenth of an inch, so that's pretty thick, um, I mean, they're probably gonna better off take the whole box and then have their time to work on it to open it if they really, really wanted it, so really this isn't designed to be a safe that's unpickable, it's designed to keep people out of it so that when you need it, you can get to it fast, so, um, yeah, but uh, let's try out some different things here. Uh, I'll talk about how you want to index your pistol in here, which hands you're going to use, and that kind of thing. So we'll uh, switch the camera angle here. Okay, so we moved it into the kitchen so we have a little bit better uh, light and a few things that uh, I want to go over on just uh, any, any kind of pistol safe. Uh, that you want to run through it and see how it works as you use you would use it So I programmed my index in thumb. So if you're going to use your index Oh, maybe I didn't let's see I did my thumb Okay Okay, I'll have to reprogram it again. So it got my other thumb um, So when you reach in I put a blue gun in here just for safety you reach in get, if you get a full grip it like gets in the way and if you got bigger hands because my hands aren't that big this becomes even a bigger problem so the technique would be to half grab it so it's not a fast acquisition type thing unless you practice and you can bang it up if you're not careful so you grab it halfway kind of like get the grip on the back of the slide trigger finger on the side like you're supposed to but then I have my grip kind of half gripped to get it out of the uh, the, the pistol safe uh, easier. So you practice that a little bit and then you shouldn't have a problem. But trying to get a full grip and then trying to get it out, it, it catches. My hand is just not enough room. So you half grip, get it out, get that full grip, you're ready to rock and roll. So, um, so if you were going to index this as your left or right, you know, if you're right handed, you're going to hit your finger on the button. I'm going to actually program my index finger on this right now. Okay. So, we'll close it. And you can grab it, get it out. So, that's if you're right-handed. Now, if you're left-handed, same thing. Oh, I didn't index it for a left hand. Now it's backwards. I'm pulling it out all weird. So if you're left-handed, index it so that you can grab it like so. Let's try that again. Let's 
See, get it out, no problem. That half grip thing works pretty good with this thing. You know, so, for this size, it, it, and if you're limited on size where you can place it in your apartment, your home, or a specific spot you want to wedge it into so it's kind of out of the way and not seen, um, then uh, yeah, my, my uh, philosophy is um, out of sight, out of mind. If they don't even know to look for it, then they don't know to try to grab it or try to break into it. Uh, hidden is an extra layer of protection uh, so that they don't see it. You know, if they don't see it, they're not going to go for it. So also something else to think about. So, But yes, you want to index the pistol uh, depending on which hand you're going to grab it with. So that way you can grab it quicker than, um, than otherwise. So just as if you had it backwards in here and you grab it, you're like... It's a little clunky and you have to fidget with it whereas if you had it indexed the way you would grab it nice and easy simple works so just like you index your magazines just like you index um, everything else on your belt so you can grab it quickly and not think about it you kind of want to do that too so you would also want to practice this a little bit as well so um, the uh, speed of this opening is a little eh, I mean it's slow it takes a little bit of time, but uh, um, it works. So, I mean, it's faster than you fumbling to find the key if you had to, if it was just a key type. Um, it's also probably just as fast as if it was a code. So, except you're only pushing one button, boom, pop, grab it, and you're good to go. So, um, it's all foam inside top sides uh, except for the top here so um if you were going to store this you probably would store it so that it's facing up like this and not upside down somewhere um the door is designed to open like that as well because if you were to hold it upside down the door will just close and then you have to fidget with it to open it more just something extra to get to add more time to getting to your firearm when you need to so um, but overall the construction is pretty good the programming is pretty easy it's not that hard you hit a button you uh, you know they have the verification on if it's green or red um, and then the the biometric readout uh, seems to work pretty well so um, yep and then uh, see what or the vault is designed to be permanently mounted not intended for use as a portable vault for proper function safety. Please mount this vault to sturdy surface, including mounting hardware. Uh, for any questions on how to permanently mount this vault, please call 1 800 843 3483. Bulldog Vaults. So, Bass Pro Shop had it. My, my buddy is the one who actually bought it, and he wanted me to do a review on it and tell everyone what I think of it. And to be honest, it's just like all the other pistol safes out there. Um, but probably a little bit better priced uh, for what you get. So like for the bang for the buck, you get a biometric safe that's probably just as expensive as a uh, just a keypad type gun vault and uh, you get the uh, benefit of the biometric part of it. It still has the key. Obviously you don't want to keep the key in the safe because if the battery dies you can't get to the safe because you don't have the key. So you keep the key somewhere else safe Either you keep it in another safe that you can get to manually even if the power were to die, or keep the key on you, uh, or keep the key somewhere somewhere else safe that's uh, hidden somewhere. Um, definitely because, definitely important to keep it in a good secure location because otherwise the key defeats the biometric and then what's the point? So, um, especially if you have kids, um, you know, or anybody that uh, you just don't want to have it. Unauthorized access. I mean, we don't want to... Uh, Anybody uh, getting a hold of something like this that uh, doesn't need to. Um, I'm all for the Second Amendment. Not um, or being responsible about storing your firearms. It's also, partial, it's also a law in the state of California to be able to properly store your firearms so that uh, unauthorized people don't have access to it. So um, this is just another thing to... Uh, Make sure that doesn't happen. So, I mean, a hundred, a hundred uh, prints it can store. And it's got my index, my thumb. No, it doesn't have that one yet, I guess. It has that thumb. Yep. Okay. It's 
got that index finger. So to program it again, and then, and that's it. It just took the thumbprint. If it didn't take the print, it would blink red not being able to read it or just for whatever reason you didn't do the sequence correctly that kind of thing so we'll close it see if it actually takes the thumb this time wow it doesn't like oh that's a little weird okay so that would be uh something that it, uh is a little weird so i guess depending on how you hold your thumb on it let's tr try this way it's supposed to be 360 read so now it's reading let me try that again Okay, so now it's working. So that's another thing you want to test to make sure it's working consistently, uh, especially when you're talking about biometric uh, fingerprint reading, anything like that, that uh, uh, could be a problem. So overall, I think it's pretty good construction. Again, it's once you practice on pulling it out, it's not that bad. And I keep kind of nailing it on the metal here, but uh, you know, you're not gonna be practice with the blue gun or practice with something if you're going to practice with the real gun, please make sure and double check that it's unloaded. No mag in there, no ammo in the room, anywhere, and practice. Just like if you were to do dry fire practice at home, just make sure you triple check everything um, and not have an accident. So, Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If uh, you like one of those safes, you think it might be worth buying, uh, definitely check it out. Um, I will be making some more videos. It's been a while, but uh, i got to get back into it. And i got a new website, new business. So I want you to check it out. It's www.gstworkshop.net. And, uh, oh, yeah, don't forget, it's .net, not .com. I do the same thing. And uh, check it out. Uh, if you like the video, like, subscribe. Please let me know what you think. And uh, you guys stay safe out there, and Merry Christmas. See ya.